Hello and welcome to Food and Barbecue. Today I got the birthday present from my wife. A 12 inch large cast iron pot. It's supposed to be pre seasoned and I figured I'm going to use it to make some chili. This is going to be very easy. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in there, let it get up to temp and then I'm going to fry some onion, add some minced beef and then beans and let it cook. So the onion is starting to get a little bit translucent. This is one yellow onion, one red onion, and then we got five cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna saute them a little bit in there. It's hot around here. Yep, this is starting to look good. I'm gonna get it out. And then it's time to ground beef. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over to the indirect side, something like so. Then I'll actually, going to use two pounds of frozen ground beef. So I'm going to just put the lid on the grill and let this thaw out. It's going to take a little bit and I'll bring you back once that's done. Okay, so just while I was doing this, of course it started to rain. Anyway, this thawed out. Note to self, next time thaw the meat out from yesterday. But then again, I didn't know yesterday I was going to do this. So it worked. Uh, I browned it up and Time to add the rest of the stuff in there. I've got some uh, home ground chipotle that my son made. I'm gonna put that in there. It's about one tablespoon. Two pounds of beef to start with. Then we're gonna add, this is seven overly ripe tomatoes. Get them in there. I'm also gonna add crushed tomatoes garlic. I think the water from the tomatoes is gonna be enough for this. So I'm not gonna add any water, not at this point anyway. Gonna get the onions back in there. And then I've got two cans of uh, black eyed peas and two cans of, uh, one can of uh, black beans. Get that in there, stir it in. Then I'm again gonna move this to the in the right side and let this go. I'm gonna check on it in 15 minutes or so to see if it needs any liquid. And if it does, I'm gonna add a beer. Anyway, moving it over there. Time to get the lid back on. Okay, so it's been all of three minutes and I decided I'm gonna add a beer. So I'm gonna use this echo lager just to get a little bit of liquid in there. It does seem a little bit dry to my taste. And then I also forgot to um, add some smoke to this. I want some smoke in it. There we go. So I'm gonna put some um, oak in there. Just gonna put that down. Put this over to the indirect side. Start to smoke immediately. And then I'm gonna put the lid on. There we go, this is gonna get pretty hot, so I'm gonna lower the heat in there to about halfway open. I think that's good enough. The top vent I'm gonna leave fully open. Anyway, back in an hour or so. There we go, it's been about an hour and a half since it started. And let's take a look. And this is what we have. Bubbling away really nicely. I think I might actually consider this done now. The only thing I really did to this was move it a little bit closer to the fire when we got back from a walk. But it looks really nice when it's bubbling. Well, I'm quite happy with that. Let me put something on, some on the plate and let's try it out. And with this, we just need a little piece of bread. I cut up a couple of slices of French stick. And there goes my keto. Place them on there. And then a healthy dose of chili. Time to plate this. And then we're just gonna top this with a little bit of grated cheese. Just like so. And time for a taste test. Okay, there we go, a little bit of chili. Hmm. 
I always say that's about my food, but this really came out great. I like my new skillet. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.